guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, 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 welcome. Stay a while, take your coat off, take a load off, and enjoy this video with me, with your girl. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. I know it's the beginning of the video, and you probably, girl, I don't know you, lady. But I promise you, you will not, you will not regret it. So stop fronting, girl. Okay? Click that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Show your girl some love. We are 800 and counting. Okay? Why not join the family? 800 people are here. 800 people are here for a reason. So why not join the family? Join the family, stop playing, stop running. So as you guys can see from today's title, you guys already know it's a product review. And I know I'm super, super, super late. I'm super late. Better late than never, even though never late is better. But you know what I'm saying? Y'all, I'm not on the Fenty Beauty PR list yet. Yet, okay. We're not there yet, so you know I have to purchase these products with my own coins, okay? So uh, eh, you know what I'm saying? And sis is balling on a budget, so some, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes things won't be right as the new drop. When that new drop hits, I might not be in that line, but best believe I will get it eventually and create a video for you guys, okay? So without further ado, let's hop right into this video. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about what the product claims to do, okay? So the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop is a blurring skin tint that delivers smooth, instantly blurred skin in just a few easy drops and it comes in 25 flexible shades. This blurring skin tint is buildable light to medium long wear coverage. It comes with quick blur complex for a hydrating and diffused effect. It smooths texture and layers very well with primer and skincare. It is also humidity, sweat and transfer resistant formula. And this is what she is looking like. It comes in 1.0 fluid ounces it is 32 milliliters and this is what the packaging looks like and the shade that i got was 21. it's not like the perfect match for me but you know it's as close as we can be in the pro filter foundation I am in the color 420 so technically i should be using 20 but when i went into the store 20 was just looking a little bit too light for me and it just it looked really really scary so i just went with 21 i just felt more comfortable with going with the color 21 and this is what she looks like and i'm gonna swatch it on my face so y'all can see what's really going on okay so guys i already did my brows and eyeshadow off camera y'all already know what time it is i don't really know what i'm doing when it comes to eyeshadow so yeah, I'm gonna show you the application. Also primed my face with the Milk Hydro Grip Foundation. I mean, what? Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You guys already know this is my favorite primer. She's a fave. I use this like all the time. Like this is the only primer I actually have. I do want to get some more, but she's my fave. She does the job very well and keeps my makeup locked in. I'm gonna do a little swatch on my face just so you guys can see what the color is hitting for. This is the color I got. Yeah, you know, she just looks more friendly. So this is how it's sitting on my skin. And it still does look light, I ain't gonna lie to you. But because this is a light medium coverage product, I'm not too worried because I know it will share all the way out. But yeah, this is what she's hitting for. I'm just gonna put the skin tint on one half of my face just so you guys can really see what, what difference it makes on the skin. I'm using my Morphe Jaclyn Hill buffing brush in the number JH03. This is what she looks like. Okay, I'm just gonna blend her out. Let's see what's really, really going on. Okay, y'all, first of all, 
Okay. Y'all, because I know you guys saw what was going on here earlier. I know you guys did. Girl, I don't know about light coverage. I think this is more, this is more a medium type of gal. She's more a medium coverage type of girl because she's covering things I didn't think she could cover. Let me just put a little bit more. You can really see what's going on. Okay, y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am impressed. Like this skin tint is doing its thing. So as you guys can see, there's nothing here, nothing going on here. You can see my blemishes as well as my hyperpigmentation on this side. And you can see what's going on here, what's going on here. Okay, and then this side, this is what this side is giving you. She's giving you a look. Okay. Okay. Just put some of that skin tint on this half of my face. Now, I did watch some reviews. Obviously, I did watch some reviews. I'm, first of all, I'm super late with my review, but um, I did watch some reviews and I noticed that when people applied the skin tint with their fingers, it was extremely sheer. But then, and then people who applied it with brush, like I'm applying it, there was a lot more coverage. So just, you know, you know, for my girls who don't like a whole lot of, you know, makeup on their face or they just want it to be as sheer as possible then apply it with your fingers. And then for girls like me who want more coverage, like I'm a full coverage type of girl, if you're a full coverage as well, then I do highly suggest using a brush because I just find that there's more coverage. Like my face, this foundation, I mean, is it a foundation? Can I say it's a foundation? No, it's a skin tint, right? I can't say it's a foundation. This skin tint, Guys, did Rihanna kill the formula or what? Did Rhi kill it or did she not? Cause she's giving me a look. If I was to go outside with this skin tint on, nobody's gonna think I'm wearing makeup. Like if I just went outside, if I woke up and I said, okay, I just wanna like look somewhat put together without doing the whole shebang. And I just put this on. I promise you nobody's gonna think I'm wearing makeup. Wow, like she actually killed it. Like guys, I really didn't think I was gonna be that impressed. First of all, I watched some videos and it did look nice on camera. I'm not gonna lie. It did look nice on the people that did review it, but like in person, it's even nicer. Like it looks nice. Don't get me wrong. Like it looks really nice, but it looks even nicer in person. Guys, hold on. You guys can see this mark right here. Let's, let's see what's really going on. Y'all don't be like me, okay? Don't be popping your pimples. I be popping them left, right, and center so bad, but anyways, we can cover this up real quick. Period. I know you guys saw that mark earlier. And yes, you can still see that the pimples there, but you can't see the dark. It's not dark anymore. It's matching my skin perfectly. Okay, Rihanna, listen. I mean, Rihanna already takes my coins. If y'all don't know, like half of my makeup stash is Fenty Beauty. So, that's why I'm always excited when she drops something. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like when Fenty Beauty drops new products, I get excited. Cause I'm like, I, I mean, you know, like, she like, she doesn't miss, like she really doesn't. 
All right, y'all, so this is what my face is looking like. I am thoroughly impressed with this coverage. Like I actually am. And it's so funny because my sister-in-law was like literally just saying to me like, oh, maybe I should pick up um, a skin tint. And I was like, yo, it's like light to medium coverage. So, and she likes full coverage like I do. So I said to her like, yo, it's light to medium coverage. Like you, I don't know if you really want that like that like that. But yeah, I'm gonna talk to her. I'm gonna tell her to pick it up because yeah, it's hitting. It's hitting in all the right places. Guys, don't mind my hair, you know what I'm saying? She's blow dried because I trimmed it myself, okay? Listen, I was tired of short pieces of hair in the sink, so I just trimmed this back by myself, period. So yeah, so that's why it's still in a blow dried state, even though it has shrunk so much. But anyway, <laughs> back to the product. This match is actually perfect. Like, I'm very happy I grabbed 21 instead of 20. Um, it's like perfect. Like, look, I mean, my, my chest is much lighter than my face, but like, it looks good, y'all. It looks so good. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna do the rest of my face like I normally do, like my concealer, my contouring, my bronzer, everything that I normally do and see what's really, really, really going on with this skin tint but so far so good really really impressed like it looks really good i have coverage like i'm actually very satisfied with the coverage i don't feel like it's not covering enough of my skin it is y'all saw the blemishes y'all saw the hyperpigmentation and now what where is it she ain't here she is not here honey we do not know that girl hyperpigmentation we do not know that girl, okay? Anyways guys, so I'm gonna finish doing the rest of my face. I'm gonna do it on camera, but we gonna speed it up, okay?
All right, y'all, so this is the look. My makeup is done, and this is what she's giving you. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm feeling cute. As this is feeling cute. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have already tried the new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you haven't. And why haven't you? I'm joking, it's COVID. Not, not everybody can purchase things and I completely understand. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys liked how this video turned out, if how this makeup look turned out. Share this video with everyone and anyone that you know. Thank you so, so much for liking, for commenting, for subscribing, for just being here. I appreciate y'all, you know I do. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.